है सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कंपेयर फ्रैक्शंस विदाउट फाइंडिंग देयर एलसीएम्स और विदाउट कन्वर्टिंग देम इनटू देयर इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस राइट सो हियर लेट्स फर्स्ट टेक एन एग्जांपल वेयर वी नो एग्जैक्टली व्हिच इज बिगर एंड व्हिच इज स्मॉलर सो इफ आई टेक 1/2 एंड 1/4 1/2 is bigger than or larger than 1 by 4 right so this we know they have same numerator and their denominators are different so the fraction which has lesser denominator will have higher value and the fraction which has bigger denominator will have lesser value right in the method which i am going to teach you now is we don't find their lcms we don't convert them into equivalent fractions what we do is we cross multiply their numerators and denominators so this is the numerator i'll multiply this denominator to this numerator and i'll write here below the fraction for which the numerator is getting multiplied so 1 fours of 4 right and this denominator will get multiplied with this numerator and the result are right here so 1 twos are 2 right here you can see 4 is larger than 2 right and that is why this fraction is larger than this fraction here we knew the value and then we followed this method of multiplying numerator and denominators and then we found this result now i'm going to take one more example where the comparison is not this easy so the fraction i am going to write is 3 by 5 and 5 by 7 so these are two fractions first we will compare them using this new method which is without finding their lcm or without finding their equivalent fractions and then we will check our result by finding their equivalent fractions and comparing them so what is the method method is multiply the denominator of the second fraction to the numerator of the first fraction and write down the result below the first fraction or the fraction for which you are multiplying the numerator so 3 sevens are 21 going to write 21 over here and then repeat the procedure with the numerator of the second and the denominator of the first so 5 five fives are 25 and the numerator belong to the second fraction so i'm writing the result below the second fraction and here if we compare 21 and 25 we know 25 is greater than 21 so among these two fractions 3 by 5 and 5 by 7 5 by 7 is greater than 3 by 5 this is the result we got from here after multiplication right and now let's verify our result by finding out the equivalent fractions of these fractions where the denominators are same so lcm of 5 and 7 since both of them are prime numbers so their lcm will be 5 multiplied by 7 that is 35 So, three by five can be written as three multiplied by seven divided by five multiplied by seven, which is seven threes are twenty-one, and five sevens are thirty-five, right? And five by seven can be written as five multiplied by five divided by seven multiplied by five. This five we are multiplying in numerator and denominator both. Why? Because thirty-five divided by seven gives us this five. And here we are aiming to make their denominators as thirty-five, which is the LCM of five and seven, right? Yes. So the equivalent fraction for five by seven will be five fives are twenty-five, and seven fives are thirty-five, right? So we have got equivalent fractions for three by five and five by seven. They are twenty-one by thirty-five and twenty-five by thirty-five, 
and from here 25 by 35 is bigger than 21 by 35 so the simplest format of these fractions which were originally 5 by 7 and 3 by 5 will also have the same relation so from here also we have got 5 by 7 is greater than 3 by 5 and this is what we have got here also by using this method right yes so actually what are we doing over here if you see carefully I have taken this example purposely because they have their denominators as prime number and the LCM of those denominators was simply the multiplication of those two numbers right so here when we were converting these fractions into equivalent fractions we have got numerators as 21 and 25 and here also the multiples which we have got were 21 and 25 so here we are actually omitting this step of writing their equivalent fractions isn't it but actually what we are doing we are indirectly finding only the numerators of these equivalent fractions right and that is the reason this method works though we don't need to find the LCMs